Show that, that. Show it. Don't buy clips. This, this is the EasyCap capture card. You may have seen these on eBay. You may have seen these on other shops. But uh, you've never seen a two-year-old um, use one. So. Daddy. Yeah, are you going to show everybody how to use this now, Amber? Yes. How do we, what do we do? Do we put it in the computer? Yeah. Where? There. Yeah, say USB. 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 You put, it, you put this in the USB socket That's and the baby will show you. Go on, put it in. Is it done? Yeah. Yeah. We put it in the computer. And now it's detected it. So now we're going to go over to the sky and we're going to show you how to capture sky. Right, this USB right here is not the type you want. As you can see on the skirt, there is no switch <laughs> for which way the signal's being sent. So I've already tried it, not very good. Over here, we have a baby. Hiya. Right, and we've also got the correct Hiya. wing, which she has just plugged into the microphone socket, which is not where it goes. So we'll take that out. This is the correct lead. Same difference. Video, left and right sound. The skirt socket. In and out. That's what you need. Virtually all you need. So, I'll show you the back of the sky. As you can see, there are two ports there. One's labelled VCR skirt, one's labelled TV skirt. These one, these, um, labels are for idiots. Both sockets do both features. It's not it won't only just work on a on a VCR or a TV. Just plug it in any. Makes no makes no difference. There we can see. So you're not looking for one that says easy cap capture card from eBay. You will just plug it in any. Doesn't no matter if it's in VCR or TV, both of them send the signal out. Then we've got our composite. Let me just put the yellow one in. Obviously the red and the white. And then... On the computer, I'm using a program called Virtual Dub, which is free. It's got a lot of settings. Let's have a quick look on this. Right, so now... You go to Capture ABI. Okay. And there you go. There's Sky TV in the corner. Ain't that great? We'll get the Sky Remote and pause it. There we go. Play. Pause and play. Pause and play. Forward, play. Exciting. Channel over then. Well, then once it's running, all you need to do is press capture, capture video, and then it'll just start recording. That is it. And then you can play it back. The best way to capture any video is to use no compression whatsoever. Whatever you've been told, compression is never good. You will always lose quality using compression. No matter if it's that new H.264 format that Apple's invented, that's supposed to be the best thing since uh, spacemen went to the moon. But it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's terrible. Compression is a terrible, terrible thing that should never have been thought of as an event. Watch it in full quality and someone should do something to reduce the amount of disk space that each uh, second of NVI footage takes up rather than coming up with a way to just squash it, squash it down the best we can. Anyway, that's it. That's how you do sky recording. Bye.